Today we have one goal survive as long as possible. We're going to be stepping into one of the most downloaded campaigns ever and try to survive for 100 days. This is day one and these little hobbits have invaded this nice little peasant farmland and are stealing the crops and so we've sent the knights in order to dispatch them and I think we won't have any problems eliminating this little group of rabble rousers who are stealing all the pumpkins from the pumpkin patch. It's hard to know what awaits us throughout all these levels, but as you can see, day 10, super boss level, day 20, boss level, and so on, until we get to day 100, which is called Omega. So we had a little bit of a problem. In our efforts to stop the hobbits from invading the homeland of the farmers, we accidentally crushed and destroyed a whole bunch of their crops. So they're a little mad at us and decided to turn and try to fight us. So we had to call in reinforcements in an effort to stop them from destroying us. As you can see, it is going to be a little different, I think, when we have shooting arrows at them and we have big gigantic swords and knights fighting on our side. However, they do have potioners, and those potioners are making my units quite tipsy. But it's no use because they're all destroyed. Before we watch this big gigantic catapult destroy all these farmers, they, this guy right here says subscribe to the channel because only like 12% of you guys are subscribed. And if you do, you get to watch awesome things like this. Let's watch as this catapult utterly wrecks these big gigantic farmers over here. Or I should say my knight just absolutely obliterates them because he can't die because he's getting healed. Perhaps we might have gone a little overboard with this one, but as you can see, we're, we're making it through this campaign relatively easily so far, but I have a feeling that things are going to get pretty crazy soon, and we might have to advance and progress ourselves. This is how day six is going. <laughs> that guy just literally died because he ran into the wall too many times. Here we are on day 10, the super boss level, and as you can see, they've brought a giant, and not only that, but they have so many kings from all the realms around that have come to defend the farmers, as well as multiple catapults and whatever the heck this thing is. I know it's a scarecrow, it's just for the story, okay? Step one in assembling our army is causing a distraction. Step two, large firepower. Step three is the meat of the army as well as some of our own god units. With this epic army assembled, there is no way that we can lose this battle. Let's find out what happens. Oh, half of our units just go down from that one gigantic catapult shot. But as you can see, our minotaurs are fighting the kings. The giant has gone down. And as you can see, the kings can take quite a lot of Zeus bolts, but no match for a massive ballista bolt right through your gullet. Simple numbers at this point. Numbers in large weaponry, able to destroy and take down even the largest of creations. Level 10 has been defeated, with lots of lightning bolts in this king's face and snakes biting at your heels. We've come to the ancient realm as the Viking warriors to prove who is the better set of warriors. The ancient hoplites or the brawlers with their hatchets and oh my goodness it wasn't even a competition. When you have units that can fly everything starts to change. You see there aren't many units who are a match from, for swords falling from the sky atop your head. It's an absolute just destruction. Look at this. Did I even... I lost only a handful of units. They have formed this interesting defense here with minotaurs defending Zeus's, lots of snake archers, but in all reality, it's no match for my army. Because as you see, I have massive amounts of units, and not only that, but we have our new strong warriors. And not only that, we have our longboats. 
So I don't think there's going to be any challenge here. And I have to imagine this battle will be over very quickly. Especially when we have an, an entire army of aerial swordsmen dropping down their destruction upon the top of Zeus's head. Look at this. It's an absolute just mess of units. There's no way I can lose. We have survived until day 20. And as you can see, they brought forth their epic beast, surrounded by stone throwers and spear throwers. However, I'm pretty sure that my flying swordsmen will be able to destroy them. The distraction is effective. The swordsmen are out attacking. The giant beast goes down and it's all over for these tribal units. It's day 25 and there's a new boss level with big epic boats as well as strong warriors. However, we have gained the addition of fire. And so now we see how quickly we can melt away our enemies with the dynasty faction. As you can see, the fire is already causing some absolute massive destruction. Although they do have flying creatures that our, our ninjas are easily able to take out with their throwing stars. And everything is absolutely destroyed already. Day 30 another boss level and as you can see they've got greater technology who watches fire themselves as well as the mystic monkey king however my ancient army has expanded we have three heavy ballista bolts multiple snake archers and more minotaurs the question can we defeat them? So far, the snakes seem to be causing quite the distraction. I might have better been suited to move these guys further back because the ninjas are wrecking them. But as you can see, my minotaurs are in the back fighting the monkey king. But the question is, can these three actually defeat the monkey king? Oh, they punched him right in the rib cage and broke all his ribs. It looks as though it's all over. We've defeated the next boss level we've made it to day 50 on what they call the impossible level let's just see if we can defeat it since they've combined different factions i think we ought to do the same here we are with our army valkyrie bards zeus snake archers berserkers watches is this enough Will the Berserkers be able to distract? Will the Snake Archers be able to distract? The goal is to get things close to Artemis. Take her out before she's able to... Uh, did they just... Did she just... Did they just get her? <laughs> I think they just got her. The Berserkers jumped in and destroyed her right away. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. No, she's still over there. But the Berserker actually did get her. She was way over here. And they, they actually did get her. Uh, so much for an impossible level. <laughs> that was so easy. Day 55. The Viking Realm and the new boss level. They have brought forth their mighty warriors surrounded by their impressively small-headed ice archers. And the question is, can we defeat them? <laughs> the Dynasty Faction. Here is our fire-breathing dragons, as well as our heavy firepower watches, surrounded by ninjas and firework archers. Monks, will this be enough to defeat them? I don't know. We have to survive 100 days. Let's find out if we beat day 55. Here we go. So far, so good. The dragons are getting all the ice archers. That's good. Yeah, toast them up. There's still some alive. They need to do as much damage to these ice archers as they can, because while it might not seem like a lot those things are going to cause us some problems overall and the watcher needs to get this yarrow looking oh there's a euler back here i didn't even see him that's not good he came out of nowhere i did not see him at first that could be a huge problem the watches take down the yarrow they, they're shooting at the euler get the euler oh they hit him a bunch of times if that euler breaks free it could be all over Yes! There it is. There's only one left. We've done it. Day 60. Bards 
everywhere. <laughs> there's a mix of factions once again. Taekwondo, there's a giant and monkey kings. And I have 20,000 to work with. Will I be able to do this? What might seem like impossible odds, I think has changed to my favor. We have legacy faction units now. Pikes and pharaohs and wizards and rollers. Those standing still back here that should cause lots of damage. Even a god himself, as well as a whole army of poachers in order to supply all the protection that we need for these units right here. I think with this uh, combination, we'll see quite some uh, insane things happening here in a, in a matter of moments. The wizards, the poachers, everyone is being cheerleaded. As you can see, the giant fell down the hole. And so we don't really have to worry about him. But here's the here's the, the unit that I was most concerned about. The monkey king, but he disappeared. I think he got zapped by the wizard and then shocked into oblivion. It's kind of actually hard to tell what just happened, but we just dominated this battle, I think. Although, it's only... Okay, okay, we did it. I was concerned for a second. I thought, are we about to lose it at day 60? Well, we've reached day 70. The king is back as well as some jesters. Then, a knight on a horse with some healers behind and a catapult. Can we defeat it? It looks pretty easy. Let's see if we can do it. Here's my own army. Chariots. Barrel rollers, wizards, they should be able to do this. I think this will be a pretty easy one. Let's see what happens. It seems as though as time goes on, it's not getting harder. It's like getting somewhat easier. Yes, the king is away from the healers. That could be good as long as we manage. Oh, that chariot just took out all the healers by himself. That is epic. Now we just have to worry about the catapult. Yeah, you freed the chariot. That is your mistake. Get him, poachers. The poachers might be able to do it. Day 80. A new boss level. This time, we've got knights, scarecrows, other knights, horsemen, a king. Will we be able to defeat them? I think so. For you see, we now have this spooky faction. We've got some vampires and pumpkin catapults, multiple sword casters, and a reaper. And I think that the numbers on the other side will quickly fade away, especially when the reaper gets involved and pumpkin catapults are flung out. I'm not too confident with the sword casters, simply because because of all the archers, but this reaper might cause a lot of problems for them. Making sure work of kings and other knights and things that normally would be a big problem. Oh no! Here we go. Is it enough? We've got snake archers. The snakes could cause a problem. Oh, it's gonna come down to an archer battle. Pumpkin out! Get the the pumpkins were like useless. I should not have even used them. But we did win. We have fifty thousand to work with. This is day ninety, and as you can see. We've got a nice little wall, shield wall here to protect against uh, kinds of projectiles. And in the back, we have a mace spinner. There's about to be a tornado. So we shall use our own shield wall, mammoths, in order to stop them from getting any closer to us and then hopefully breaking up this mace tornado back here. And then also giants have been awakened as well as these new uh, fancy good units over here, the Divine Arbiter cheerleaded to perfection and if you've never seen a divine arbiter cheerleaded well you're about to be in for a treat there is probably little way that we're gonna lose this action this is gonna be nuts in before destruction the mace spinner didn't even get it off he couldn't even do it, it is immediately over it's destroyed we just wrecked this level with absolute ease Wow, the Divine Arbiter didn't even have to do anything. The mammoths did it all for us. <laughs> awesome. We've reached day 100, and this is the Omega level. And as you can see, Samurai Masters with a shield wall of hay balers, jewelers, cheerleaded jewelers. Well, I have a special surprise for you. 
as well as for them. And we'll see what happens. Let me introduce you to the Neon Syndicate faction. And as you can see, they are quite equipped with various different neon things like plasma blades. This guy is called the Circuit Breaker, and you'll see what he does in a second. As well as these guardsmen over here, and then these various riflemen with special abilities and arc pistol units, as well as the Strike Signaler, and then the main guy back here. I think this will go very smoothly. I hope at least. I, it would be very disappointed if we lost right at the end. Circuit Breaker shoots out a ton of electrical uh, lightning bolts and then the guardsmen have their plasma weapons and strike signalers sending lightning from the sky and all kinds of other crazy things and I think it's already over. Honestly, I think the Circuit Breaker alone could probably do it. But we did import all of them for this battle and we have defeated the Omega level probably in like the most ridiculously easy way possible but that's it for today's video we survived 100 days in tabs I hope you enjoyed click one of the two videos you're about to see and let me know if you want to see more tabs content I'll see you next time